Welcome to the World Tarot. This is the career pick a card reading on the question Am I really doing what I'm meant to be doing in this life? And this is pile number five. So let's see who are you, pile number five. You're the King of Wands. So you could be someone very charismatic and um, very popular. Somebody who's a good communicator, somebody who may travel for work, who travels in, a lot in general. Um, yeah. So you're somebody who could be very popular. You may have, uh, maybe you have a social media platform with a lot of following. People really look up to you. You could be a bit of a celebrity. King of Wands. You're somebody who's very passionate about what you do. So maybe you do you are doing what you're meant to be doing. You could be a fire sign, maybe a Leo. So we've got four of wands, ace of wands, three of cups, four of cups. Uh actor or doctor or musician or spiritualist. You could be highly spiritual. You could be like um you could be actually a spiritual leader. You could be a cult leader even. There you go. Four of Wands. You're somebody very celebrated. Ace of Wands. Somebody with a lot of energy. Very powerful manifester. Three of Cups. So the Three of Cups makes me think of a coven of witches. Like, a, like I said, you could be a cult leader. Uh, this could also be people singing on, or dancing on the stage. This could be a stage and people singing and dancing on the stage. So you could be like a musician or a dancer or a ballet dancer or something like that. Four of Cups. 34 could be significant. Maybe you're 34 or 41. Or the, the 1st of April or the 4th of January could be significant. So 1st of April is in Aries season, 4th of January is in Capricorn season. So this is, you're somebody who's possibly a very hard worker, whatever you do, you might be like in the entertainment industry or you could be a cult leader, you could be a spiritualist, you could be a healer, you could be even a doctor, like um like somebody who travels a lot or a, or a doctor who has an online platform or a psychologist, but mainly I'm getting entertainer here and spiritualist, cult leader. <sighs> right, so whatever you're doing, you're doing quite well, but with the Four of Cups, it could be that you're a bit depressed. So even though you have a very exciting job and an exciting lifestyle you might still be depressed or you're feeling uninspired especially if you're an artist especially if you're an artist or in the entertainment industry you could feel uninspired what's with the four of cups let's clarify the four of cups let's clarify the four of cups why are you feeling depressed or uninspired you might not be necessarily depressed just uninspired for some reason why are you uninspired Eight of Pentacles. Because maybe you feel like your work has become too repetitive. You feel bored. How are you bored? How are you bored? Because it looks exciting. <laughs> Why are you bored? You might have depression then. Yeah, because people who are depressed, they, uh, they don't really care what you give them. You can give them the greatest thing in the world and it won't impress them because... It's like when you're depressed, you feel like you you have no effect. Like you are not sad, you are not happy, you're, you're just kind of lifeless. You feel like a zombie when you're depressed. I know how it's like to be depressed. And people associate uh, depression with melancholia, you know, or being stuck in the past, being a crybaby. But Four of Cups, when you're in the Four of Cups energy, when you're depressed, you don't feel like crying. You don't feel like laughing. You you don't even feel angry. You just feel 
numb. Maybe sometimes you feel angry because you get fed up with your life, basically. But you can feel very numb, very unimpressed, very bored, right? So that might be the issue here. And you, yeah, you get very bored with repetitive work. You're not consistent with your work, whatever work you do. You might be inconsistent because of this. The Queen of Swords wanted to come out. Maybe I'm right. I don't know. So what can you do about this? That means you need to address the Four of Pentacles. Four, four, four. Uh, this talks about stability. You do have some stability here. With the Four of Pentacles, maybe you should refrain from spending your money or i'm not sure let's see what's the advice let's get more advice here what what should they do ten of cups find your happiness but what's your happiness what's with the ten of cups seven of swords <sighs> six of pentacles and eight of swords so you know what maybe you need You need to ask for help with the Six of Pentacles. Maybe you're you're avoiding. Yeah, you're you're holding back and you're avoiding asking for help. And that's why you're so stuck. You feel stuck. You feel like nobody can help you. That there that you cannot free yourself from what happens to you. You might feel like whatever you have is uncurable. So if you have depression or other mental issues, you feel like your issues are uncurable. So you, you're not even asking for help anymore. So uh, who can help you? Who should you ask for help if you had if you wanted to ask for help? Four of Swords. Four of Swords talks about like taking a break, like actually going to a hospital. Like um, you know, maybe a retreat, a health retreat a treat retreat or something or uh, one of those centers where you kind of like you stay for a while and they try to treat you so this could be something more severe you need healing like you need to, to talk to proper doctors prop you know like with the four of swords it makes me think of mind doctors psychiatrists like you might need to talk to an actual psychiatrist but I think lots of people don't trust psychiatrists because there's been there's a lot of uh, you know how uh, back in the day they used to do um, lobotomies on people and uh, they was used to kind of like experiment on the people who are deemed crazy. There was this actress. What was her name? I forgot. Francis. I don't know. I forgot. There was this actress and uh, she talked a, a bit about or. There was, oh my god, I forgot completely, never mind. She was institutionalized, I think. And they gave her a lobotomy. So I think you're scared of psychiatrists, but you need to talk to one. And they're not as crazy as they used to be. They're coming up with new methods now, so... Yeah, okay. So are you supposed to be talking to a psychiatrist, Six of Cups? Yeah, you need help from somebody, like a doctor. You need to reach out for help. Psycho maybe both a psychiatrist and a psychologist. Free of pentacles. An institution. So somebody needs to be institutionalized. I don't mean to offend anyone. But somebody has real problems with depression here. And they've been avoiding this healing that they need to go through. So somebody needs to get like... How do you call it? Because I don't want to use any uh, harsh words here. You need to stay in a hospital and actually get a real treatment for somebody for a while. I don't know what else to tell you. Nine of Pentacles. 
Again, Nine of Pentacles is uh, Virgo, the doctor. So you need to talk to a doctor. 39 could be significant. Seven of Wands. You need to stand up for yourself, right? You need to... Like I was saying, so if you're in the public eye, you know, if you're on a public stage somewhere, in order to get back right in your power you need to talk to somebody you need to do some kind of healing what's with the seven of wands and again you're guarded towards uh, doing this two of swords reversed so you need to stop avoiding this you need to take the blindfold off and uh, take some kind of action here Maybe you need to talk about these things. I don't know. Maybe you need to... Six of Swords. Like move into calmer waters. You need to retreat. Like go on some kind of retreat for a while. To heal. And maybe you could talk about your journey afterwards. Like make it public. I don't know. Two of Wands. Again, make a plan. You need to make a plan here. And you might need to travel somewhere in order to get this treatment. Yes. Ace of Cups to heal your heart, right? To get mental and emotional healing. Well, the Ace of Pentacles one flipped out in reverse here. It wanted to go in the upright, but then went into the reverse. But the thing is, um, Ten of Pentacles. A legacy. Six of Wands. Leaving a legacy. What's the legacy here? Okay, so if you want to have children, if you're planning on having a family or having children, you definitely need to heal these things. So you don't um, kind of pass on the, the family drama and karma here to the future generation. What else? Queen of Wands and Knight, Knight of Swords. Did this come out before? So um, you're definitely a public speaker and you're quite popular here. So you might need to speak about these things, about your journey once you heal, your healing journey. Five of Cups reversed, King of Swords reversed, Queen of Swords in the upright. What's with this couple here? You might have lost uh, some relationships because of your issues. You could have been divorced. Ten of Wands. Or, like I said, uh, you might end up divorced if you don't heal your issues. Nine of Wands reversed. It's like getting over. You could have CPTSD. And that's what's caused your depression. So you need to heal this. 